Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Lindsay and today we're going to be doing yoga for tranquility. So let's just start by coming back into ourselves and letting go. So we're going to stand in a nice comfortable position. Position your feet so they feel really comfortable and grounded. Doesn't matter if they're parallel, if they're together. Bring the hands to the heart center to Anjali Mudra. And let's start to smooth out the breath. So we're bringing the consciousness into this moment. We're letting go of the past. We're letting go of the future. This is where we are here now, in this place, in this time. Everything else is fading away. You can feel the breath as it slowly lifts the chest and as it slowly draws the shoulders down. And bit by bit, let's start to lengthen the breath. So we're going to draw in from the back of the throat. We're going to draw the breath to the bottom of the lungs. And as we exhale, through the mouth. We're going to sigh the air out. And this time when you inhale, take the breath all the way down to the belly. Let the belly expand. And then let the prana flow from there all the way through the body. And then as you exhale, feel that great feeling of rejuvenation. The breath is smooth. The mind is slowing. The brain is cooling. We're fully present now in this moment. Let's let go of judgment, let go of expectation. And then let's slowly come to a side bend. One arm comes overhead. So we're gonna to start to wake up the physical body. So take your time, just sway back and forth. Again, we're just letting go, letting go, nothing matters, just this moment. Lovely. Then we're going to step the feet a little bit wider, clasp the hands behind, take a breath in, lift the chest and squeeze your upper arms together. Bend the knees slightly and let the breath come from outside of the shoulder to outside of the shoulder. And then we're going to come halfway down. So back is parallel to the floor, and then the knuckles lift. Again, we're squeezing the upper arms together to just stretch out the front of the chest. And on the exhale, as we bring the hands to the floor, we're going to start to bend the knees. <laughs> crack, crack, crack. So just bend your knees as far as you feel comfortable. I don't know about you, but knees are the things that I need to warm up the most. And then pushing through the hands, we're going to start to straighten the legs. Doesn't matter how far you go. And then we're going to exhale and come back down. Just hold it here for a couple of breaths. And then slowly lift back up. Walk the feet back in together. Slowly unwind, draw the arms over the head. Take a lovely breath in, feel the outside of the shoulders lifting, the shoulder blades dropping down the spine. And then let go of the breath as we come to Anjali Mudra, touching the thumbs to the sternum and connecting to self. We're going to start with Uttasana, flat back extension. So we're going to bring the hands down to the shins. We're going to take a breath in. We're going to roll the shoulders right down from the ears. 
Take a lovely breath in, and as we do so, push the crown of the head away from the hips. So you can feel a stretch in the back of the legs already. Take another breath in, and on the exhale, just start to relax your whole body down to the mat to Uttanasana. So the weight is in the balls of the feet, the heels are very lightly placed on the mat. The crown of the head is drooping, the shoulders are relaxed. So let's come back to flat back. Inhale, extend to Uttanasana. Exhale, fold to Uttanasana. So I'm not going to tell you right or left leg because if you're right-handed or left-handed, it's going to make a difference. So I want you to just feel comfortable about which side you go first. Just remember which side you've gone first. So let's take a long step back and draw the knee over the ankle at the front. Now, drop to the knee if you don't feel happy to come up to high lunge. Otherwise, hands to Anjali Mudra, let's just settle down into this lovely, strong pose. A couple of breaths, then we're going to circle the arms overhead, take a breath in. Lift the bottom of the rib cage. So hip to bottom of the ribs, there's a lovely space. Draw the prana into that space. Sink a little bit into the hip. And then slowly relax down, hands either side of the foot. Drop the hips a little bit more to low lunge. Don't forget, you can always drop to your knee if you don't feel stable. Pushing the chest forwards, lengthening out through the back leg. Oh, lovely. And then when you're ready, we're gonna walk that front foot across the body. So take it across, 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 heel toe, heel toe, and then just slowly sink into Seated pigeon pose. Lengthen the back leg, turn the back foot so that the toes are on the mat. Take your hands either side of your front knee. Take a breath in and lift. So what we're trying to do is to square the hips up if we can. <sighs> this is a very peaceful pose. So just take a couple of breaths here. It's lovely, isn't it? Just let all the muscles settle down. So if you feel any tension, adjust things to release. And just hold here. And then slowly, whenever you're ready, take the weight in the hands, lift up, toe to toe. You're going to sink back into the last other. Ah, top, let's just have a little break. Settle right down. And then whenever you feel ready, tuck your toes and push back. Adi Mukha Swanasana. Downward facing dog. Broaden out through the shoulders and the upper arms. Push back towards the heels. But really you're pushing the backs of the legs towards the wall behind you. And then let's just gently walk the feet the heels lift and maybe each time you land the heel you can get a little bit closer to the mat doesn't matter if you can't then drishti comes between the hands and we walk in slowly and come back to uttanasana forward fold again the weight's in the balls of the feet the heels are light the shoulders are relaxed and loose inhale uttanasana Extend. Exhale, fold again. Just relax everything. Just let everything go. Just take your body weight slightly forwards. And then whenever you're ready, take a lunge back with the leg number two. <laughs> drop down, drop your knee if you want to. Stay up on your toe if you want to. Push up through the front heel, unfurl. Come to Anjali Mudra, relax your shoulders. And then when you're ready, take a lovely breath in. Lift the bottom of the ribs. On the exhale, sink a little bit. And then 
relax forwards, hands either side of the front foot, start to drop the hips, draw the chest long, push out through that back heel. Lovely. Okay, then we're going to walk the front foot across the body, all the way across if you want to drop to your knee, do. Use your hands to support you as you drop into seated pigeon. Then turn the back leg, so the top of the foot's on the mat, the hands are either side of the front knee, take a breath, lift the chest, draw back out of the front knee, and try and push that hip forwards. But otherwise, just relax. Adjust these poses to however you feel comfortable. We're going to take the weight in the hands, lift up, toe to toe, and sink back, and just relax. Whenever you're ready, we're going to come onto our sides, um, elbow directly under the shoulder. So we're going to come into a side plank. If you're coming from your knee, make sure your knee's in line with your hip, otherwise extend both feet, stack both feet or take one in front of the other. When you're ever you're ready, lift up, bring the arm up, take a breath, lift the lower rib cage. If you're coming from your knee, that's absolutely fine. If you're coming from your toes, either lift the top leg and then gently drop the toe behind. Take the arm overhead and then lift the hips take the eye gaze to the ceiling. Okay, hold it here. And then slowly sink your hips down to the mat. So we're going to bend the bottom leg a little bit. Bend the top knee and hook on to your toe. Then whenever you feel ready, let's just straighten that leg. Draw it gently in, so you should be feeling this here a little bit. Draw it gently in. Lovely. And as we let go, we're going to turn over to the front. Hands under the shoulders, legs long, toenails and thighs pushing into the mat. We're going to come to Bhujangasana, Cobra. So think about the snake pose. So we're curling from the legs to the back, to the shoulders, to the chest, and we're lifting like a cobra. Lovely, now I'm just gonna scoot round to the other side, but you can stay where you are and just roll over. We're going to do the same thing. So take your time to set it up. Feel comfortable in what you're doing. All I'm saying are suggestions. If that doesn't feel comfortable for you, don't do it. Lift up, bottom rib cage. So we're pressing down into the palm and into the elbow. When you're ready, lift the leg, take it behind, push the hip up, draw the arm over the head, Keep pushing the hip up and opening the front of the body to the breath. And then very gently sink the hips, bend the bottom knee, hook onto the toe, and then lift and straighten. So it doesn't matter if you can't straighten your leg, if you come to here, that's absolutely fine. If you can go even further, that's fine. Find out where your body feels happy and just go there. Ah, lovely. And then again, we're going to slowly turn to Bhujangasana, hands under, shoulders, legs long, so ready to curl. Inhale, draw the shoulders back, unfurl the spine, and lift. Beautiful. 
So we're going to lift the hips, push back into child pose for a little break before we come into our next sequence. Please feel free to have a drink. Just shuffle down, let your breathing come down. come to front and we're going to take the heels wide so upa vista konasana hook onto the toes if you feel comfortable to do that otherwise just rest your hands on your legs that's absolutely fine take a breath in so we're going to really lengthen the spine if we can let the shoulders relax and then slowly relax forwards. So feeling the stretch in the inner thigh and across the lower back. Also, and the back of the shoulders. If you feel happier to have your hands in the front, feel free to do that. Walking back, bringing one leg in to the thigh. Arm goes down the long leg with the palm up. Take a breath in. Lift the arms straight up to the sky. And can you turn your eye gaze upwards? Where can you let go of tension? There's a lot of stretches going on here. So where can you let go? Breathe. Find the tension. And then try and let it go. Beautiful. Whenever you're ready, come down. We're going to turn the chest towards the bent knee. Hands either side of the leg. Lift the chest and turn. Come back to centre. Bring the heels wide. Vista Konasana again. Take a breath. Lengthen the back. So can you imagine all the vertebrae really spreading out and then folding forwards? Just hold it here, this lovely stretch. See where your hands feel comfortable. You might want to bring them forwards. You might want to rest your forearms on the floor. You might want to hold to the bottom of the feet or the legs. Just go wherever you feel happy. And then we're going to bring the other leg in. I hope you can remember which leg you used. Lay the arm down, palm up. And then just gently lift the other arm. And start to push up. Not through the fingers, but through the shoulder. And then turn. Can you relax your neck? Take your eye gaze up to that top hand. It might feel completely different this side. Adjust according to your body needs. And then slowly come down. Turn chest towards bent knee. Again, lengthen the spine. And on the exhale, turn. Then we come back to centre. Balakanasana this time, bound angle pose. Let's bring the soles of the feet together and walk the sit bones in as far as you feel comfortable. Bind your hands around your feet and then again, let's lift the back, drawing the vertebrae and then gently let your knees drop. So can you relax your hips? Keep breathing down the spine and into the hips. And then when you feel as if you've really lengthened your spine, we're gonna just walk forwards, may not be far. 
Just go to wherever you feel happy and stop. And then start to let go. This pose is all about tranquility. It's about being in ourselves, really inhabiting ourselves, letting go of all external influences and disturbances, becoming stronger in ourselves with a quiet confidence. And then very slowly come back up. We're going to bring the heels one in front of the other into a nice easy sukhasana. Just lift your sit bones, have a shuffle down. Take a breath in. Arms come over the head, take a breath out, come to Anjali Mudra. Let the breath go. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, let's do that again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. Namaste.